Good evening, fellow Toastmasters. Tonight, my speech is going to be on networking for college students. I think it, it, it flows well, considering what we will do, um, meeting some quandaries. And <laughs> so let me get right into it. Um, let me ask you guys a question. How many of us, have, how many of you guys have applied for a job and didn't get it? Oh, we got the lone star over here. <laughs> That's good. Aside from him, we all think we all we all kind of need a little bit of help. <laughs> so I, I want to help you guys tonight to understand the processes that go into networking as a college student and the different mindsets of it. When we already, rather than already being a graduate student and being a professional or being an individual outside of the school environment and trying to look for those leads and trying to find opportunities. So one of the things about being in college is it should be a very limited time that you're here. So timing is very important. You want to start early. And starting early means you get the opportunity to be a fresh face, but at the same time you can also be a long-lasting face in wherever your endeavors may take you. If you guys don't know, I'm an accounting major, so I'm in account society as well, and a lot of the information I give you guys are from personal experience. And from what I've seen that's worked and doesn't work, and from the advice that I've gotten over these semesters from the, the individuals that's there. Uh, my biggest advice to begin with is if you have a very specific uh, major, is to be a part of the organization that caters to your major specifically. Because what this will mean is you're going to have direct contact with those who are going to be recruiting and those who are going to be looking for candidates like yourself who will be graduating in that field and who will be interested in, and have that interest going into the field. So you'll have something to give them and they'll have something to give to you. But the first thing is, and what I, I want to stress the importance of timing is, is that you want to be able to go in and you can be shy and you don't have to work so hard. Every semester we always get individuals to come out, first meeting, this is my last semester in college, I'm graduating, how do I get a job? Like, well, where were you two years ago, you know? Like, this is going to be tough because from this point you have one semester to impress, all the recruiters impress, everyone you need to impress in order to try to get an opportunity before you graduate. Because for us, once you graduate, you don't have the option to come back as a candidate where I come back to uh, recruit with the professionals or to recruit with the personnel that you would wish you could recruit with. So you have, a, you have to find other venues and find other leads. So college gives you a big, a huge opportunity for you to find those opportunities. So start early and talk to the board members. The odds are most of these board members are going to be graduating soon and they're going to become the professionals that you're going to be recruiting with. So this is, definitely take that advice, talk with the board members, or talk with whoever is already there and you know where they're going to go. And if you like them, that might be a place you want to go work with as well. So this is just, and also when they come back to the professional, you already kind of have that in with them. So you can talk with them and you can also network with them. So network goes both ways. Keep in mind, networking doesn't mean you go and find somebody you can use to benefit yourself. It has to be mutually benefiting. You don't want, it's not, a, oh, you know, how are you doing, Andrew? Hey, you know, I need a job. You want to go out? And can I buy you some drinks and stuff like that? Where it's like, rather than, you have to be very proactive and keep up with your connections and make sure that they know that you're not just in it for yourself. And that when they bring you in, or if they give you an opportunity, that you're going to be somebody who's going to fit. And this also goes as far as, as with the networking is you're going to be able to get to see the type of culture that the organization that you want to go work for is going to offer you as well. Cultural fit is very important. I would hate to get a high paying job and go to work and hate everything that I did. I would hate to get up in the morning. Even Money means nothing when you're not enjoying what you do, when you hate the people around you. So this is the perfect opportunity for you to get to meet these people, the individual you'll be working with next to you who will be in charge of you that I like this person, I can definitely work with this person and I want to recruit with them and I want to be able to move on in my college career to show them that I'm the right person for them and I'm the right fit and that they're the right fit for me. How do you do that? Say, talk with them, of course. Uh, one of the things is, while talking with these individuals, it, it's, it's going to be very important that you ask questions. So who, who knows the rule of, of, of listening and, and talking, the percent basis? percent, 20 percent. That's correct. 80, 20. So it's 80 listening, 20 talk. And that means you want to be able to ask questions, but you want to be listening as well because you're, you're picking their mind. You're picking their brain and you want to know as much as you can. Now what do you do after? You want to 
you say thank you, you thank you for the time. And, and what, what in, incorporates it is the importance of the thank you card. Now, a lot of people don't realize what that is. For me, myself, I didn't, I didn't feel that it was something that was necessary. I felt that it was going a little bit too far uh, when I first began that, my networking journey. It's very, very important because it shows that you're willing to go above and beyond. It's willing to show them that this is what you really, really want. I like you guys, and I'm really happy that you guys talked with me. You write a thank you card to every individual you spoke with. You take it and drop it off. You can send it in the mail. I personally would suggest you bring it in to the office yourself and drop it off in person. That just shows so much more initiative and so much more of a personal touch. I'll give you guys an example. I, I worked for Chicago Fire, and I applied back in August. So I, I was applying for their bookkeeping payroll assistant or the payroll clerk. Um, a position. When I went into the interview, I had a great time talking with Regina. She was my boss. And when we talked, we laughed. So I was like, okay, good. Because I, I had a good laugh with her on the phone too when she called me to offer me the interview. I, I went with the thank you card and I gave her a thank you card. And on it, in the thank you card, I actually wrote, and you know, thank you for your time, hope made a good impression. Signed it and put a little arrow to my signature and said, this is going to be worth a lot someday. <laughs> Because I, I want I want to leave a lasting impression. And these are the things you want to do. Just put a little bit of your personal touch to it. Uh, although that was not a lie, it will be worth a lot. <laughs> and now she has treasure. <laughs> Is that you want to do something like that? Um, it, it'll, it'll leave a lasting impression. And on top of it, you know, it, it'll show that you know you're, you're you're definitely something. If anything, that they like that. When I interviewed with Eric, however, on the other hand, he did not have the same response to it as Regina did. He had told me, okay, it pissed me off a little that he wrote something like that because it was a little unprofessional. And so I had told him, okay, I understand, because Eric is the CEO, so I had told him, I understand that. And of course, the key card I gave him did not have that in there. So I came prepared. So all in all, be prepared, start early, and leave a lasting impression, and you'll be fine. Thank you.